here are four negotiating tips for sellers. So number one, you're gonna wanna make sure that you know the numbers, your agent's gonna help you do this. The biggest thing that you're gonna take a look at, because sometimes the market can change weekly, almost monthly, that's there. You really wanna pay attention to how is the market moving right now? Are numbers going up? Are they going down for properties that are similar to mine? A really good agent's gonna be able to help you figure that out and make sure that we can make you the most amount of money. Number two, you wanna remember that time's on your side. A lot of times, I know the old saying that's out there is that the first offer is sometimes the best offer, but a lot of times in this business, especially if we have a little bit of extra time to get a second offer in, maybe even a third or a fourth, usually we're gonna be able to get you a better offer and make you more money at the end of the day. So number three, you wanna make sure that if you have something that you wanna ask that you wanna to try to negotiate, you wanna ask that question for sure because if you don't, the answer is always no. So some of the things that we've been able to land for our sellers has been a rent back agreement, maybe where they weren't able to find that next property that's there and we were able to get them an additional 30 to 60 days to be able to stay in their property until they had to find that next property which made their transition a lot easier. So number four, never split the difference that's there. So I think this is the biggest thing when we're negotiating, we don't always wanna split that number right in half what we like to do on our team is make sure that we put a number out there that makes that buyer seem like we really thought about it. And a lot of times we're going to be able to get you more money because of that. So here are the top four things that you can use to make sure that you're going to make the most amount of money.